Welcome to this episode of the Million Dollar Mastermind. I'm Larry Wydell, and let's get started. Oh, what a wonderful day and what a wonderful uh, opportunity I've got today to talk with my longtime friend, but also role model, mentor, uh, hero that got me really mentally organized for success in my early career as I transitioned out of a completely different industry. He was one of the bright stars uh, in the organization and had a way with words that was just transformative. And so uh, we've been big friends over the years and had lots of fun together. And he's like my uh, uh, brother uh, from Dallas, uh, Big Bill Arender. So welcome, Bill. Well, thank you, uh, Larry. You have been a beacon for so many people for so long, and because um, uh, we're not going to get it from anybody else, and um, I'm grateful for you. And uh, you just summed up everything I was about to say, by the way, in many, many ways, if you dissect what you just said. And, um, you know, a lot of people right now are already thinking about 2021. I mean, what am I going to make? How much money am I going to make? Well, 2020 is not over yet. Yeah, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to start all over again. And 2021 is just going to be another uh, repeat of 2020, of not 2019, 2018, 2017. Nothing is going to change, Larry. But everyone thinks it's going to change because there's always hope. And, and I want it bad. And, and I'm tired of living like I've been living. See, all that kind of thinking doesn't work. But we think it's going to. And we have to remember, Larry, that uh, when we started the company, we, didn't, we weren't sure we were going to be around a year from now. But see, our relationship with money is terrible. We're not supposed to have money. The politicians get rich telling people how bad the rich people are. Oh, if you're making money, you're greedy, no good, big business, big oil, big pharmaceutical, big, look at all the money they're making. You see, and so what do we do? We cower and we restrain ourselves because we don't want to be one of those people. So money relationship for most people, and I can tell very quickly, tell me what your net worth is, and I'll tell you what your relationship with money is. And if you're not making a pot load of money out of this thing, it's because your relationship with money is not where it should be. Like one author said, the purpose of any enterprise is to fund, F-U-N-D, your ideal life. you got to have the money. You know, a couple of weeks ago or last week, they had pictures of people in Dallas, 8,300 cars in line for people to get food at a food bank. See, the problem wasn't wow. food, Larry. The wow. problem didn't have any money. Wow. It's never food. But if they were in line to go to a money bank, they'd be ridiculed. Food banks, fine. But don't talk to me about making money. So we're labeled greedy, no good. And so we cower. And we, like uh, uh, Carlos Temple said, people don't quit, they just settle. So we settle for a nice little life, making an appropriate amount of money where we are accepted with all our peers and friends so we don't have to be labeled as one of those people. America loves labeling people. You're greedy. So all you think about is making money. All those rich guys, you know, rich people, you know, you know, it's harder for a camel to go through an eye of a needle than a rich man to get to heaven. Boy, we can use those things in a big, big way. You see, the purpose of any business, Larry, is to make and accumulate money so no one's got their thumb on you. And so what has to happen is every right decision we make is based on where is this going to, this decision going to take me 10 years from now. So the focus shouldn't be 2021. The focus should be 2031. Now, what does that mean? Art Williams, in his talk, he talked about the success or financial independence from Napoleon Hill, and everyone's seen that. And then he gets, a sense, uh, gets out of chart, Larry. 
of how much money you got to put away on a monthly basis so that in 10 years, you're worth a million dollars. He didn't talk to us about making a million dollars a year. He talked to us about having a million. Because when you have a million dollars put away, like Art Williams said, I can tell everyone to go get screwed. That's why he said, I want $300,000. You've got to economy proof your life by having that net worth. How many people in society today have focused on cars and homes and clothes and then the pandemic hits and they're out of a job and all they have is debt. So the mindset's got to be, I've got to get a million dollars put away and read all the books that I was supposed to read. And he said, you got to set some financial goals. And so I had three specific goals. I wanted to hit my first goal is I wanted to have a net worth of a billion dollars. I did not want anybody controlling my life. I'm hell bent on, I'm anti-government, don't control my life. And all of a sudden things change. And, and, and you just got to do it because we've seen it happen over the years. Probably won't. But if you've got a million dollars put away or $2 million or $3 million put away, so my goal is to have a million dollars put away. The second goal is, I needed $100,000 a year to fund the program to have that $1 million. Interesting thought. I made the money to fund my investment program to get the million. And it kind of goes like this. Where do you want to be? I want to have a million, uh, $2 million net worth in 10 years, in 2031. Huh. Okay. So, uh, tell me your game plan to do that. Well, in order to do that, I got to start saving $8,000 a month. That'll give me $2 million, $2 million at 10%. I'm making $200,000 a year. Tell everyone to go get screwed. No one can, uh, I'm not untouchable, but I'm close. All right. So what do you need to do? I need to be making $20,000 a month so I can fund my $8,000 investment program. So, Again, you, you, you decide where you want to be 10 years from now, and then you work backwards as to what you're going to do, because no one wants to screw up the next 10 years of their life. No one wants to wake up in 2031 and say, well, that one didn't work. And the way you do that is a goal isn't a goal unless it has a plan of action to attain that goal. So if your goal is $100,000 in 2021, why? Well, I want to make $100,000. I, I, I'm tired of being broke. I, see, none of that works. But we, we think it does work because that's what you've been trying for the last 10 years. Well, Larry, I'd like to uh, recommend some books people can read that have helped me amazingly. One is The Wealth Choice by Dennis Kimbrough. He's local in Atlanta. It's a mind bender i've read it five times i could not put it down and it is a I, it ought to be taught in school it's a book that uh is called worthy w-o-r-t-h-y by nancy levin and i don't know the author's name but it is a terrific book called you are a badass at making money you got to have that mindset i'm a badass at making money and then you'll become in my mind a badass at building a hierarchy so those are some of the books that uh, every third book I read, Larry, is a money book to keep me focused. The inside every millionaire is a broke kid who wanted more. And that's what Edward said earlier. We're all broke kids, when, all of us, and we wanted more out of life. Bill, I, yeah, I, I'm so glad to hear this. Bill, this is uh, so much fun to get into. So thanks so much, Bill. Thank you very much for having me, Larry. It's always fun with you. Thanks for listening to this episode of Million Dollar Mastermind with me, Larry Wydell. If I've helped you in any way, leave us a five-star rating and review on Apple Podcasts. For more information like this, listen to our other Million Dollar Mastermind episodes and check out my Wydell Academy YouTube channel and visit us on WidelOnWinning.com. I'm the Million Dollar Mastermind, and until next time, go, go, go.